Hi guys, Rich from Smart. We're over at one of our Leicester projects at the moment. Uh, we've just finished first fix, so all the cabling's in place. Um, ready for us to come back at second fix and, and get all the equipment on. Uh, this house has been pre-wired for pretty much everything, really. We've got all the zones of heating, about 13 zones of heating, uh, wired for about 12 zones of audio. There's a nice gym going in here. Um, security, security is a big aspect for this client, so we have full external JDG perimeter protection. Um, we've got external CCTV using heat vision dark fighter cameras. Uh, and then we've also got a text comm alarm within the property. Um, we've got full lighting control going throughout. However, probably just gonna do the main rooms in the first instance, and then look at doing the other rooms after that. Um, we've actually worked with this job uh, on this job with the guys at Four Car Electrical. Um, really, really good set of spacks, to be fair. Um, jobs run really, really smooth. It's been an absolute pleasure, so I'll take you in and I'll show you what I've got first fixed. Right guys, we've finished the first fix over at this project in Leicester. Um, so we've got all the rainbow spaghetti behind me. You might notice we've already got a rack here, why? So as I said on the intro, the client wanted to have his CCTV up and running. So we've got a 36 year rack holding a 2 UMBR. So that's ready in there. You can just spot it up there on the top. Um, we've got the 4, uh, 4G router. So basically what that means is that the client has access uh, and can see his cameras from where he is. So I'll spin round and I'll show you what's what. Might notice here on the side, so this is the termination box and all mapped out on how it'll go in. So we've got all our coaxes there for uh, TVs. We've got some purple for our external sensors. We've got the purple speaker wire for all the zones of audio. Cat 6 here for video distribution. Loads of alarm sensors. Pink for all our internal Faraday sensors. Blue is obviously Wi-Fi. Orange for our control system, green for our BTs, and then red is all our general data. And then obviously the yellow ones we've got here um, all go through and are already into the rack. So when we do this, we will do everything um, with a cable schedule. So all the cables that are in this property are filling up all these pages on here. Um, so they'll all be brought in. We know exactly what cable's going where, what it should be doing. And then when it comes to the second fix, we've got the termination box drawings. Um, so on the termination box drawings, you'll see when we come to the second fix video, um, that, that'll be up on there. So we'll spin the camera around and I'll show you the lighting panel area. So over here is where we've got all the lighting cables. So again, the boys at 4Core Electrical, uh, I've pulled in all the additional lighting loads. Obviously, you know, with the C4 keypads, we're quite a big fan of the Zigbee lighting. Um, obviously, it minimizes the amount of panels that you need, but also gives a bit of fail of uh, fail safe kind of redundancy for whatever reason and um, a keypad didn't work we could just replace it for a switch now i said redundancy there it didn't work um i mean to be fair we've only had a couple of faulty uh, in the three years that we've obviously been doing this but same with everything we do i like to have that i want to know there's that safety blanket there so for whatever reason we've got it covered um, i always like to have the answer for things so what we've got going on on here uh, obviously all the flexes that are here so these are for all the LED strips throughout the house. So we have smaller ones, which are just going to the kitchen adjacent to me. Oh, we've got some massive 2.5mm uh, flexes that'll be going to the upstairs rooms. Uh, we've got the data for the lighting panels. Um, that's actually garage door opener, which you can go on here. 
Um, general electrical there, and then lighting and blinds that have been wired throughout the house. Um, so these I'll have a drawer in. The guys will get this all trunked up with some PVC trunking, get the panels mounted, and then when we're back for the second fix, we'll get all that in there and ready for the lighting. So I'll give you a quick look on the drawing uh, and then show you around the rest of the house. So I'll give the plumber his dues. Uh, he's done a really tidy job on here and actually left lots of space for electricians for a change. Uh, good to see that. So we've got oh, about 16 zones in total, I think, of the heat miser heating on this job. Um, so what we'll have is a couple of the UH8 controllers here. Um, again, one's on the first floor and one on the second floor because there is full wet on the floor heating throughout the property. Uh, also got a couple of other things to take into account here, such as a second return pump. We've got a zone of hot water. So you guys know how we do it. We hide all the thermostats here, so you don't have them in the room. They're in, obviously at the great into control four. So we have, um, out in the field, we've got the temperature stats. And again, how we do everything on our projects is, if it's low voltage, we wire it in flex, basically. So I know that these flexes here are for the thermostats. Uh, and obviously the grey cables are the links between the manifolds, so mains voltage. Uh, it just avoids blowing anything up, really, which is, is obviously a bonus. Um, as I say, you learn from your mistakes. Um, but yeah, that's all set up, ready to go. Uh, and that's the heating system. That's everything finished on first fix over here in Leicester. Uh, CCTV is all up and running. That's all working. Rainbow spaghetti is all in place and the lighting. Uh, we'll be back in about six months time for second fix uh, and get everything wrapped up there. Um, obviously a massive thanks to the boys at Fourcore. Um, really good electricians. I've said it a few times now, but it's, it, it's good to work with people who know what they're doing. So yeah, definitely check these boys out in Leicester. <laughs> Bye.